A warm welcome to the channel. Now, about a year and a half ago, I did a video related to retire in Cambodia, and it did quite well for my channel. I got like 57,000 views, and I did some follow-ups, and this is an additional follow-up to it. Now, I've been living in Asia for over 30 years. I came here basically in 1993. I, I was based in Thailand, first of all, but I traveled and lived in most countries in this part of the world as far north as Japan, all the way down to Indonesia, Brunei, etc, etc. And why should you retire here? Well, it's the cost of living is the main thing and the weather is usually pretty nice. Now, at the moment, I'm in Cambodia, it's like 38 degrees inside my air condition isn't working too well so inside is about 31 hopefully the a guy ac guy is going to come so the cost of living now for two of us yeah now we own this house so let's forget about that for two of us our general costs for myself and my lovely partner soapy and two cats cost round about a thousand dollars that's our general cost. Now, you would say 200 per week on food, going out, and that includes cat food as well, and just well-being. There's a additional costs of Netflix, Amazon, Apple TV. We have additional costs of the internet, electricity, and water. And that is round about 1,100 per month. Yeah, and that's for two people, not just one, two. And this is where, obviously, you would need more money. So when I say $2,000, you could say, um, is that going to be enough? The answer is yes, but that's not going on holiday every single week or every single month. It may be three or four times a year. So that holiday cost is possibly going to be 800 to 1,000. So you would need to save money from that 2,000 to be able to go on holiday, for example. Other costs would be that you want to buy a car if you can afford it. So your additional costs on that would, how much would the car be to service, petrol, uh, charging, et cetera, per, uh, per month. I have, or oh, we have two motorbikes and the gasoline we would use maybe for each motorbike, three to $4 per week. Then the oil change is, once it does 1,000 kilometers, it's an extra $5.50. Usually this is incorporated into our own budget. But let's say we want to buy a new motorbike, it's going to cost $3,000, for example. Where is that money going to come from? It's the saving from your 2,000. So when people say in Thailand and here as well, you can, um, you can actually do it for quite a low price but you need that emergency. And no one here is going to help you with money. The government isn't going to bail you out like you could say in the United States, you're all on your own. So make sure you do have that income. There is a gentleman on YouTube called TNT, um, Tim Newton, and he did this in um, Thailand. Now he lives in Phuket, he's quite a good businessman, and he suddenly had to pay up 23,000 baht, which is a lot of money for this road tax that suddenly came in. So you have to be aware of what's happening around you because there may be unforeseen circumstances that you have to. And that 2,000 again may cover that. You would have some savings from that. So you don't spend that all that 2000 in one go you treat it like how you would retire anywhere else you're not going to go to a bar every night you are going to stay at home you are going to cook at home sometimes you are going to go to restaurants this is all incorporated into your cost uh, but these additional circumstances maybe your friend comes and you want your friend you want to show off to your friend so you take him to a nice restaurant or a bar now, you may stay, um, you may go on holiday in that country like Cambodia. These are additional costs. Yeah, the cost of living is low. It's a lot cheaper than the West, but it's still a additional cost. 
So you do get a lot of people who say, I can do it for 650, I can do it for 800, I can do it for 1000 or 1002. Yeah, granted you can, but it's your lifestyle and you've got to be prepared for these emergencies. And that emergency involves spondulies, it involves cash. So with that, you need sort of like a Jennifer Lopez backup plan so to speak. I think Jennifer Lopez was in the movie Black Up Plan. And so when this situation happens, um, like this air conditioning is not working correctly. It's an extra $15 on top of my additional expense. It's not a big deal, but I have the money for it. I don't have to budget it. It's already there. Yeah. The Electricity this month is going to be really expensive because for the first time in a long time, this is a really hot time, like really hot. So my electric bill is going to be well over $150 for me to keep cool. Again, the air conditioning is taking it up and the electric is not cheap. And the worst case scenario, which did actually happen to me um, last year, but again, because I had the backup plan, I had to go to England because unfortunately my mother passed away. The air ticket from Asia to Europe is not cheap. Um, if you want a reasonable flight um, and you're going economy, yeah, you're looking at what, 1,002, 1,003. I managed to get a business class ticket on Gulf Air and it was 2,500. That was an emergency. I did ask for people for help and they did help me very kindly with that one. That was very close for me being like very uncomfortable for a while. So big thanks to um, the people who did do that. But it was that you've got to incorporate the, the things that may happen to you. Expect the unexpected. Don't, it's not always going to be a bed of roses living in a foreign country or living in a tropical country, living in a, uh, it's a lot easier. Yeah, granted, I don't think um, I could actually live in the UK, mainly perhaps because of the weather and some things are ridiculously expensive, like paying five pounds for a beer. This is not beer, this is actually tea, even though it looks like a urine sample, but let's not go into that bit, ha ha ha. You get my drift. Um, so incorporating everything into a monthly budget, yeah, working it out and on average whatever it is for you and whatever you have, like we have two cats for example, each cat costs maybe a hundred, hundred US, 120 US per month for their cat food, for their cat litter, etc. These are incorporated into our cost. But the additional cost on top is what I'm trying for you to be aware about. Don't be so naive and so blank coming here and say, oh, it's okay, everything's cheaper, I got enough money. Well, if you're on a budget, you may not have. So if you're, example, if you're happy with 1,000, people say double it basically. So your budget is 1000 and you can live comfortably with that with your food, going out, your cigarettes, your alcohol, your rents, your gas, your electricity, your water, your internet, your phone, blah, 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 whatever. Then double that because then you have the backup system. Yeah? And when something does happen and it may cost you three or $4,000, you go, oh, but you have the money. You don't have to suddenly ask for money from around the world, etc., etc. I hope you get my drift. So do be aware of the unexpected costs of living in these great places to live because you are on your own and no one in that country is going to help you. Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.